interesting couple of days in the world of Destiny. I ain't gonna lie people, I have missed it. Today I cover what's gone on, things to come, and alternative methods in earning those umbral engrams. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I bring you another D2 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. Also before we go any further, for all your gaming needs, no matter the platform you play on at amazing prices and incredible weekly deals, check out G2A linked within the video description. So the world of Destiny is a funny one and over the past few days, maybe even week, Many, many people like me have been being complete scumbags and farming forges, AFK, earning those juicy umbral engrams, which in turn basically mean free power leveling. But oh no, Bungie can't allow that. What they want you to do is farm the same thing you've been farming for years. They can't have you AFKing in forges and enjoying fresh air at the same time. Oh no, that isn't allowed. You must stay indoors. You must play their game. You must get fat and sweaty and spotty and no sun at all. What I find great though is the fact that you could argue that there are many many issues with the game. Personally me coming back from a long absence, I ain't experienced many if any at all myself. I haven't even been error coded yet which is crazy but my twitter feed is full of complaints being made from people who have been playing over the previous 3 or 4 seasons. And if you've paid for the game, you've played the game, you can complain, rightly so. Complaints like error codes, PvP being unbalanced, ARs being overpowered, cheaters on PC ruining the experience, trials being completely bust, lack of new stuff to do in a brand new season. These are issues that, let's face it, were mostly here when I left playing. They are still here. People, I stopped playing last year. Yet 3 days of AFK farming to help our power levels and they fix it, they nerf it, they take it away. You then have the other side of the community, people stating things like farming forges ruins the game, it takes away from everything else and you are the kind of people farming these forges will be the ones saying there's nothing to do in 2 weeks. Well and that, for the most part, in the opinions of many who have been playing the past few seasons, there isn't anything to do now, never mind in 2 weeks and it's a brand new season. If there was, people would be having fun playing said things instead of farming AFK forges. And that is the point. If people would rather AFK a forge and playing your content, then you have to ask yourselves why that is. It shouldn't be the case because it's easy this way, because playing a game should be about fun. And if we ain't having fun leveling up, people will take the easier option. The game's end game content like the dungeon requires a level for the average guild player to be pretty high, 1040 plus. Getting there to me now feels like an absolute chore, it's like we actually have to go out and work to get there. Yet we are playing a game we paid for to play and have fun. It seems for the most part people have forgot what games were made for. So yeah, if people would rather AFK than actually play your content, the answer's simple, make better content. Now me personally, I ain't farming or wasn't farming forges cause other content in the game was boring and repetitive. I was farming forges because I'm a lazy bastard and like getting things for free. It's as simple as that. But yeah, either way you look at it, the AFK farming method Bungie have now fixed. You now get sent straight back to orbit after every completion. There's a macro workaround for PC players if you'd like to use it, I tweeted it out yesterday. Not something I'd recommend as I'm not sure if it goes against uh, Bungie's TOS and it's not something I created. But that tweet you'll find linked within the video description, follow me for news while you are there. But yeah, other than a PC macro method, console players can't really take advantage of this or the forges anymore. Now there are other means of getting umbral engrams and without doubt the fastest way to get them is the rage nightmare hunt on the moon. Something I covered in a video the other day, either do this solo as it match makes you or do it in a fire team of 3. Stop the mission, run through only killing nightmare enemies to progress, then kill the final boss. You can run through this in around 2 or 3 minutes. 
depending on your skill level. And every time you complete it, you are rewarded umbrals or altered element. Now, with weekly reset coming, I do believe this may go away. But with every other nightmare, it's the same thing. Just others will take you much longer to do. Now, another way to get them, which is slightly harder and best in a fire team, is to contact public event. This you can also glitch by duplicating the ball that spawns in. This allows you to progress each round with maximum time, meaning you more or less guarantee heroic and give yourself maximum time to defeat that boss. This I believe rewards Umbral Engrams every single time too. This one is quite simple as well, just grab the ball that spawns in or the orb that spawns in. You'll see a light beacon come from the actual public event to a different location within a certain radius of the area. And you'll see a few enemies there. You have to kill the enemies to pick up the ball. Once you pick up the ball, run to the, I call it a malt machine, because it's like the Gambit malt machine. As you slam in the ball, when that bar gets to around halfway, just switch weapons. Or press the button to switch weapons. You'll drop the ball, but do the animation of slamming it in at the same time. This will count as progress. But you'll be able to pick up the ball and do it again. And you can rinse and repeat this and just complete the round within basically seconds. And like I said, doing this means you get to the final round and final boss with maximum time on that clock. Meaning you have maximum time to defeat the boss, earning that loot. But yeah, other than that people, to earn Umbral Engrams, we actually have to play the game now. How unfortunate. Okay, so we're going to move on to the future. Well, over the past week, we've also seen details of a couple of new exotics coming to the game via quests. One which was teased within the Season 11 trailer, and that's this one you can see on screen now. A new treasure rifle called the Ruinous Effigy. And it looks cool as heck. And check out those perks, people. Transmutation. Final blows with this weapon collapse victims into a void transmutation sphere. And check this out, evolution. Transmutation spheres you create can be picked up and wielded as weapons by you or your allies. What the flip is this thing? Sounds cool for sure though. The other weapon is called the Traveler's Chosen, with its perk Gathering Light. Each final blow with this weapon grants a stack of Gathering Light. Guarding defeats add 3 stacks. To consume stacks granting melee, grenade and class ability energy based on the number of stacks. And then we have Gift of the Traveller. Each stack of Gathering Light improves the weapon's reload, handling and target acquisition. So this sounds pretty cool too. Now there has been an exotic quest found which I believe ties more or less to the Traveller's Chosen. But right now we don't actually know for sure. Full quest steps can be seen on screen now. Be warned, this isn't in the game yet. These are the steps you will have to take when it does go live in game. And there's quite a few steps here, people. I won't read through them all and bore you. If you want to pause the video and read them, you can. And that is that, guys. The news roundup of what's gone on over the past week. Not my normal kind of video, as you guys know back in the day. I'd normally be the first to everything, the first to every news source, every leak, every data mine. But at the moment, honestly, I'm still playing catch up. Those days will return though you mark my words. On that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Destiny, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. Also, if you want to become a member of my channel and support me directly, do go ahead and hit that join button. I do appreciate that support. Again, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.